Ayo yo yo, what is up my lockdown crew? Today I have an extra naughty tutorial for you. Now I know that most of my tutorials are around baseline, but I know that a lot of people who enjoy baseline also enjoy a cheeky dollop of the drum and bass source every now and then. Also, the FLP file for this track will be a free download linked in the description. So, here is what we will be making in today's video. This is so sick that the government will recommend you wear a protective mask whilst listening to it. So then, let us begin the process of sucking information into your brain molecules to make a stupidly naughty track. Go! The first part of this track I created was the drums. I've found that when making drum and bass, having a tight kick and a tight snare works really well. Here is what I used in this track. As well as picking a snare and kick, I also grabbed a nice tight hat and a ride cymbal. If you're not sure how to do drum and bass drums, a lot of tracks have a very similar basis for the kick and snare, which tend to sound like this. I have added the hats over the top just on every two steps, and also added the ride on every beat. A trick I use for the hats is to change the velocity like this. This can help the hats to add more of a bounce to the overall drum beat, and also make the drums feel more human because it is more similar to the way drummers actually play. If you've been following along, your overall drum beat should sound something like this. The next part of the track I will get onto is the bass. Given that most of my tutorials are based around bass line, I will just say that often bass line basses can work very well in drum and bass tracks. Just experiment and see what you can come up with. The basis of this sound is the square wave that we have on oscillator 2. Don't ask why it's on oscillator 2 rather than 1. I am just stupid when I make stuff and do it in a backwards order sometimes. Set the oscillator B to basic shapes and adjust the wavetable position to 4. You should also turn on the FM from A and turn it up to about 44%. Also, turn the level all the way down, and set the octave to minus 1. I would show you how it sounds at this point, but obviously there's no sound because we just turned the level down. Next up, we will go over to oscillator A and set it to a sine wave. Turn this oscillator up to octaves. You should turn on the bend minus and turn the level all the way down. We will now sort out the LFO so that we actually have some sound. You should create this shape that looks kind of like a wave. Make sure you set it to trigger, and set it to a quarter. We are now going to add the LFO to 50 million things. Add it to the blend on oscillator A and turn it all the way up. Add it to the wavetable position on oscillator B and turn it up to roughly 10%, or just wherever works for you. You should also add it to the level on oscillator B, and set it to about 80%. Here's what your bass should sound like so far. We will now add the filter section. Turn it on and make sure it is set to MG low 12. Turn the cut off to about a quarter of the way up, and add LFO1 to it and set that to about 57%. Turn the resonance up to 10%, and the fat up about 13%. Add LFO1 to the drive and turn that baby up to just under 80%. Also, it is very important that you make sure you set it to affect oscillator B as well as oscillator B. Here's what your bass should sound like so far. We will now move on to the FX section. I added some dimension with the size turned down to 1% but the mix turned up to 40% to widen the sound. I then added some chorus and some EQ. The EQ is modulated by LFO1 so that the gain on the high section goes up and down with the sound. I also added some compression. If you've followed along with me, here is how your bass should sound. If you want, you can use the sub inside of Serum, or you can use a separate sub bass. That is completely up to you, but I prefer to use a separate sub for more control. I should also mention the effects I used on the mixer track for the bass. These include an OTT, the reverb from inside of Serum FX, 
and also an EQ to cut off the low end and tame the high end a bit. There is also some subtle sidechain compression with the kick, as well as a reverb and filter that I use during the build up. Next up, we move on to some arranging. Make a cool melody like I did with my bass as you can hear here. Then, add the drums and the bass together and you've got the start of your drop. I added in a crash just to add a little more impact. Halfway through the first part of the drop I added in a chopped up drum break which sounds like this. Adding in drum breaks is a good way to add another layer of sound to your drums and make them sound more full. I also added in a gunshot sound effect for good measure. I should mention that changing up the bass pattern in the second half of the drop can help to add variation and stop the track from getting boring. Halfway through the drop I added a vocal. For this vocal, I used my standard vocal chain which you will be able to see in the FLP in the description and on screen now. Except I added a fat load of reverb, only using the affected signal. I then used a limiter for some side chain compression that I set up. I used white noise from Citrus, but turned off the main output so that you can't hear it. I then set it to beats 1 and 3 of the bar. I used an ultra heavy side chain which sounds stupid on its own, but sounds good when it is played with the drums and the bass. The part of the track we haven't done yet is the build up. Most build ups have a similar drum pattern and this one is no different. You can play the bass pattern during the build up, but use a filter on it which is automated to help make the build up even more hyped up. Adding in a bunch of risers also helps. You can also add a vocal like I did. Let's find out. Ready? Set? Go! After doing all this stuff, here is how your final track should sound. Let's find out. Ready? Set? Go! Thanks for watching, I hope you found this useful, as I said at the start of the video, the FLP file will be in the description of this video, also, please subscribe as I have a lot more videos like this on my channel and coming soon, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.